What's happening? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, in today's class, we're going to be talking about what's needed to delete anything off your credit report, whether that's a collection, charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan, child support, late payments. It doesn't matter. We can teach you, show you, give you the blueprint on how to remove anything off your credit report. So, let us know where you're coming from. Oh, yeah. Hold on. My book came in. I'm sorry. I, I got it straight because I didn't even know it actually was this big. I was like, oh, this are kind of beefy. And yes, uh, uh, hey, just like a workbook, step yep. by step by step. That's the game plan. Just like how we, you know, created the YouTube. I wanted to um, do something different where it just gives people an instructions on how to, you know, fix their credit, just like the YouTube channel. Um, Give you instructions. My my general owner's like, yeah, man, that thing was dope. He's like, it's it's different. Got the pictures. I know people don't like reading all the time. Oh, I know people like reading, but as a kid, we love pictures. Um, and I wanted to bring like pictures and the oh yeah, we got the, a, um everything. Got a whole gang of pictures in here. And yeah. bruh, you you know what's important? Like why this is important? We can keep updating this thing like over and over. So mm -hmm. you know, as new tactics and tricks come out, man, I, I probably we probably gonna change some of these. And these, <laughs> and these really can become whole courses. So if you get the book, probably I, I'm not gonna say in six months we're gonna keep changing it and create different courses. If you just get the book and you keep scanning the code, it might change. But it's something that's possible, and I'm, I'm glad we did something like this. This is fire. Oh yeah, Dominique shout us out. Um, he's like he got his book. Oh, he did. Yeah. I want to show some. I want to show the people something before we get into the nitty gritty of how to remove everything. Um, yeah, let us know where you coming from. Drop your, uh, drop your questions. Um, woo, can't wait. Good evening, everybody. What's up, Rosemary? What's up, Tawana? What's up, Tamara? I like. Uh, what's up, Karina? I'm saying it right. Um, Divine, New Jersey. What's up, Greg? Um, Bronx, New York in the house, ATL in the house. Shalom, how y'all doing? What's up? Oh, South look. Carolina. Look, this this the this is my favorite part of the book right here. New York. Who right checked here. on you today? Exactly. So keep focused on yourself. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll be dropping them quotes, boy. Oh yeah. I gotta uh give my barber uh a hey, how y'all like them quotes. Um I I'm, I tr I try to post a quote. Every morning, um, to keep y'all motivated and to show, you know, basically my faith, me and Mike's faith, um, just <sighs> giving y'all the encouragement because I know sometimes, you know, feel lonely out here in these streets. But the game is to give y'all the information, but as well as um, provide um some motivation because, like I said, feels lonely, feels rough, feel like you ain't doing the right things. But if you continue to focus on, um, doing um, sowing those seeds is going to eventually pay off. So, oh, um, yeah, my bad. I got to shout out to everybody who's going to watch it later on a replay. And mm -hmm. y'all put y'all name in the chat. Uh, actually, put y'all put where y'all coming from. If y'all don't know, uh, every time y'all comment after the video is shown, we still get those comments. They come to our phone and we send them to our team. That way, we can better serve everybody. So, if y'all still got questions, uh, it'll definitely give us something to talk about in a later date. Um, yeah, so if you're asking your questions now, I'm starting the questions. How can you get the book? How can you get the book? Hey, Rosemary, I'm going to send you one. Hey, uh, DM me your uh, address. Oh, yeah, she can get Dave it. Talks Credit, because you be you faithful on here. So uh, I, I want to send you one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to sign it to special, special dumpling. I'm trying to get some hard covers, hardback. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, like hundred hundred of them, special edition. Special edition. I think they gotta change the format or the or the fonts and stuff. Yeah, you know? I think I'm telling you it's like a it's a it's a workbook, all right? Because Mike always say it work the work works. So um it's like a step by step guide. What's up, Miss King? Oh yeah. I'm I'm hey the, the name of the game is to turn everybody into credit repair experts. So you don't have to pay nobody to do it yourself. You pay, you you could pay if you want to, type deal. So it ain't no secrets or nothing, ain't no special letters. 
we had somebody in our program, they were like, hey, man, I got somebody else to do it for me. I'm like, I mean, okay. <laughs> but nobody can do it better than you because you can get your letters notarized and all this other stuff. And if it comes straight from you, and sp- oh, man, handwritten letters? Woo! Hey, that was great. Those things powerful. So if y'all could just quote the same laws and put it in handwritten form, get it notarized, that way they can't say sound like a credit repair company. I swear y'all gonna get I can't swear. I can't guarantee no results. Y'all gonna get better. <laughs> no man, it's just game, the name of the game. Oh yeah. Uh somebody said somebody else asked for the book too, Dave. So I guess you gotta oh, um, let me go get the link really quick. Oh man, hold on. I got my screenshot something. Y'all made us number Y'all, y'all made us number one already. Mm-hmm. Oh, number one new release. So I got to tell my mom I'm a number one bestseller. Author. <laughs> oh, I really want to. Um, what I want to do. I can't wait till we do this in New York. Top release and budgeting. Hey, you got a question? All right, copy the link. No, they don't see that thing on there no more, Dave. Um, can I pin this? All right, this is the link if y'all want to grab it. Um, I am. I did order some. I will be, you know, picking people random that have been supporting the channel. I love the very inspirational. A. Hey. So I think somebody asked a question about does dispute panda still work? Yes, it's all in the book actually. Um, it still works. Um, the reason why is because they have different methods on how they use. I mean, how they fix credit as well. So they have Metro Two plus they have AI, where whereas AI learning system code. So when dispute panda was made, it was made for credit repair organizations. So. Um, Dispute Panda has a lot of information on different people's, um, like, I guess, results. So if they found out that this specific collection or this specific attack worked for this specific account, now they're learning. So that's the reason why um, Dispute Panda is very powerful, because you can use the AI and you can use um, the Metro 2 and you can use the laws as well. So, yes, it still works. Um, People still getting results. So it's just like. Um, doing it, you know, regular way. It just takes time um, when it comes to credit. All right. Just be patient with it. I know 30 days feel like forever, but eventually um, you'll start seeing the progress that you've been putting in. Orlando in the building. Let me see. Let me get to these questions. How can I get the book? All right. We're going to answer that question. So are you guys working with the AI program to get this stuff removed or no? Um. What AI program are you talking about, Miss T- Tawana Williams? I don't understand the question. Which program? This feels dope. Oh, um, I love them. Hey, are hey, you the best too? Keep coming with the best quotes. Um, let's see, I disputed my bankruptcy with Equifax after freezing the snitch, and it came back verified from Lexus Nexus. Do I still ask for the method of verification? Um, Justin, do you have that letter stating that they don't report um, from the courthouse saying that they don't report to the um, credit bureaus? Do you have that that letter? Let me know in the chat. I can't hear you, Mike. Oh, we can help you with the bankruptcy. Oh, we can. I'm just asking if you have that letter, too. Since uh, already disputed. Hey, Justin, would you like us to take care of that for you? Um. Let's see, let's or see. do you want and I would like to personally thank both of you all for the work that you've been doing and I appreciate you for showing up and supporting the channel as well. well I love these. Let me start all these stuff. Oh yeah. Oh somebody are genuine. Hey. Somebody say, are you coming to New York? Maybe. Am I coming to New York? Oh yeah, I'm coming to New York. Um the reason why I'm coming to New York is because um there is a way you could we could put our book in Times Square. So I got to do it. So me and Mike will be in New York sometime soon. I will let y'all know. Dang, man. I wish we could have a DJ in this thing, boy. 
Hopefully, I feel like this thing yeah. can be right. turned up. Hey, uh, Justin, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna uh, show a number for you to text. Um, hey, Rosemary, have you text the um? Uh, how you, how you, how are you logging in on the Speed Panda? Can you say you can't get in? Um, are you on the computer? Because I know it's not uh, mobile friendly right now. So, nah, she. Uh, you got to get two. You got to have two separate uh, emails. You got to so, have two separate emails. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so I think she was having a problem before. I, I think I read one of our emails. We responded back to you um, and told you that you need uh, both emails. So one one is to start your uh, quote unquote company, and then the other one is going to add yourself as a client. All right, Justin. Um, just text, text the word uh, bankruptcy or BK to that number, uh, Justin, and then we're gonna see. We're gonna actually see if we can help you. And uh, I don't think we charge for helping people with bankruptcy. Yeah, and also, if you have, I like, if you're a victim of identity theft, or if you have, let's just say, a mixed file or quote unquote, they're saying that you're um, deceased on your credit report. Text us um, so we can submit that to the um, lawyer ASAP. Yeah. All right. I received my Equifax report and all the collection accounts came back verified. What's the next step? It's, it's like I'm playing Monopoly. <laughs> it was really funny. Um, so. She needed to take such collection? I, I thought she didn't have. I don't know. So if all your stuff came back verified, your collections. What are you like? What are you stating in your letters? Just got your uh, just got your text, Justin. Thank you. What are you stating in your letters, uh, Rosemary? Because the the letter, how the I need to make a. There's a letter. I think is it in the book. I think I say it's in the book. But there's a letter. Um, when your stuff come back verified, that you're gonna ask for. And I'm working with a few people um, on this where we hand write the letter, asking them to write a description of those, um, of how they verify the accounts. Hey, man, they see everything. They said, one of these four things, they're going to send you a letter back. It's going to say, one of these four things we did, like you mm -hmm. got a guess or something. Man, don't worry about it. We playing a game of uh, chess. We playing 3D chess, you know? Not checkers. Yes, I'm a laptop. So, Rosemary, on Dispute Panda, yeah, you got to use two separate emails. I think Mark already talked about it. So, when you, whatever you logged in, whatever you create the account with, you can't use the same one um, when you create a when you create a profile for yourself. Let's see, knocking out these questions back to back. All right, I have been disputing inaccuracies with Equifax for two years. Still no results. I'm still not. Um, I have now started the arbitration process and suggestions or advice uh, undergoing arbitration. All right. So I don't teach that. I know there's people out there that teach arbitration. So I don't know like the whole fine lines of doing arbitration. But what I do hey, uh, is so and you say you've been disputed for two years. So have you consistently been disputed for two years or is it like on and off, on and off? You know, sometimes you do it. Sometimes you don't. Um, Smurf 89. Oh, we need we need a banner that said this is not uh, legal advice. This is just important. oh yeah, and this is not legal advice. So, but we just teach everything based off of um, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So everything is in your power um, to do it. Yeah. So, uh, yes. so what what is your cause of action? Uh, and and uh, Smurf, like, what do you like? The first letter you sent out. What are you doing next after that? Because yes, it's. it's Two years without getting no results. Oh man. Oh. He said he said that uh disputing consistently. Um what what is your what is your cause of action? What why are you going to what are you going to arbitration for? I'm just having a conversation with you. Yeah. What? But well, why he's talking about that? Woo! Man. Or D. Equifax jumped 160 points. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Points. Yeesh. Oh, uh, Lynn, what, what did you do in, in the chat? Let us let us know in the chat because we love we love the uh matter of fact, we gotta start recording this thing. 
<laughs> <laughs> keep hey, it, it's recorded. Um, it keeps coming back verified. Um, so when you when you say keep coming back verified, what are you doing next after it comes back verified? What are you saying? What are you sending out? Like, what are you doing? You know what? I haven't call in. Oh yeah, they put that number up there so we can call, so we can have a conversation. Oh my god, that girl said I did the identity theft method. Oh my god, <laughs> why'd you do that? Well, she might have had identity theft. All right, hey, hey, hey you can't. Hey, I can't say. You know, <laughs> I just don't want people to get in trouble. All right, no disputing. Uh, not disputing correctly. All wrong. Hey Smurf, you want to um? I'm gonna put up the number so y'all can call in so we can um talk. What did I do with check systems report? So, but the check system report, it all the well, check system is based off of um your checking account. <sighs> you got so you got, what what your yeah, check system report? What is it? Show, are you in check systems, Rosemary? Um, going directly to the creditor to attempt to have them rectify the issue all right he's going directly he ain't playing with oh him. no hey bro if y'all talk about the identity theft method bro i gotta kick y'all off the off the live i'm sorry <laughs> yeah well, oh, man. <laughs> what's up what's up what's up um my score drop <laughs> my score drop yeah, my score drop 61 points out of nowhere didn't pay anything late or change anything. Is that common? My score dropped 61 points um, <laughs> out of nowhere. It didn't pay anything late or anything has changed. Um, so I think you've probably seen this on Credit Karma. So have you checked, like, because usually you can click on a button that says, like, view uh, recent changes, or sometimes they you might not notice, but they might have added a charge off or collection on your credit report, but it's not showing it. So you have to actually review your report and see if they added an, another account out of nowhere. So that's what you want to do, um, Greg, to see if they added something, another account on your credit report out of nowhere. So, man, I want to be. Uh, answer that. I also, I, oh, man, I want to. You know, I really love helping people. I need. I want to get on like a phone call with a few few people. I can see they the report. You do it. Oh, you talking about uh, off this? Yeah, and just you know, I can do it. Yeah. Help Antoinette, um, I... what's up, Forex? Hold on, Dave. So, hold on. What's up? Let me get this one. Let me get this one. Um, so this this is the guy that's talking about um the arbitration. So mm -hmm. you're going directly to the creditor uh to attempt that they had rectified. My bad. I'm not really reading that. <laughs> I'm just talking. All right. So you want the creditor to rectify the situation, but you sent the dispute letter to the credit bureaus. So when, when you're going through arbitration, um, you probably going to lose because you sent, probably sent the letter to the credit bureaus. Matter of fact, you probably need to get on the phone with us offline. Yeah. I think he's um talk or well, I think he learned another method from somebody because, you know, we don't teach arbitration. So I'm pretty sure he's watching something else. And coming um, here as well, so he probably learned something on how you can do arbitration. Oh, okay, okay. So we do arbitration one way, and I, people probably do it another way. So yeah, yeah. Let's 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 get on the phone or something. I think you can call in now. I'm sure. Oh no, I can't tell him what to do on this YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Um. Much love, man. Oh yeah, Forex. Yeah, my bad, Dave. I was reading. Um. Much love, fam. Y'all book is fire. I make sure you already post it on TikTok. Hey, oh yeah, it. um, yeah, man, I don't don't post it on TikTok yet. Let's let's see. I, how think, I think he could get a commission if he already has like an Amazon account. So if he, because you know if you have Amazon, you refer books, you can get. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can get you a, a commission or something uh, for X before you post the book. We gonna we gonna do that before this weekend. Then right. respond with. Yeah. Let me see. They don't respond with detailed response and investigation. They tell you the creditor has to remove and not the credit bureaus. Oh, they lying. Hold they on. Like, what, like, like, what did you do first, Antoinette? Oh, you, you know what she's supposed to do? Hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I see why people be doing this now. What's up? Uh, the framework we teach 
his oh. right there. So if you don't follow this framework, we're gonna be completely lost because this is what we teach, teach out of. Oh yeah. So I'm like, yo, what did you do first? Yeah, let me know like the first thing you did, or first or second thing that you did, and then I can all uh, basically help you. Um the 24 hour. Oh, okay. I think I know what she did. The 24 hour inquiry dispute. Call in, remove the inquiries. Okay. Uh hold on. You wanna have Antoinette call in? I just want to ask you about that. Oh yeah. If she don't mind, if she if she don't mind getting on the call. Antoinette, if you don't mind getting on the call. Um find it. Mm -hmm. Delete everybody, bro. Yeah, bro. I got, I got you, man. Y'all, man. All right, We're locked up. I hope y'all got something to drink too. Oh man, oh, we got a sponsor too, y'all. This is crazy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got we got a sponsor. So we're gonna have commercial breaks now. <laughs> That's crazy. Sponsor, y'all. We doing things. I ain't even watch it. You watched it. Oh yeah, I watched that thing fire. Oh, I want to add some music, but you know, I let it, I let it be for right now. That boy said, "I'm trying to add some hot sauce on that uh, chicken." <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, I want like a DJ in here. Oh yeah, be turned up. People come here, have fun. I keep calling. They tell me I have disputed though. Hey, pull it up. Oh, call us. What do you mean? Keep calling. Call, call us, Antoinette. Call, call in right there. The number right there. All right, so anybody that also that calls that watch the replay, I see people call. This is not our phone number. This is our call in number for live. So if you want the team to help you, it's on 407-863-3024. Oh man, yeah. Uh yeah, this is like a Google, a Google number, right? Yeah, yeah, Google voice number that I made really quick. Hey. It's just a process. We're gonna come with the <laughs> the headphones and the set. All right. Before and after. I, I was gonna put my headphones on, but them things look bulky. I'm, I want the uh, yeah, I got the but I need to get some real one because these is trash. I got well I got studio con. They hurt my ears though. Oh, hold on. We got some more calls in here. Why are you waiting on the phone call? Anybody well, anybody can call, so all right. You read this one already? We genuine. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the work works. The information is out here. Oh, that's the person? Oh, oh yeah, we got the credit team. We got to go. We got to go to commercial break. All right, all right. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to have, we got a commercial break really quick. Hey, hold on. Guys, we got our first commercial. Uh, We got to go to commercial break before the call. Oh man, that wasn't that bad. Um, uh, and I'm one of your fans, and I'm actually uh, glad that I'm actually be able to see you guys' videos. But I sent a collection message, and I I gotta respond that somebody's gonna get back to me. But it's been going uh, two weeks now. I didn't get a response. So uh, you need to get a response. Something that's urgent right now that I want to fix regarding a collection. Mm -hmm. It's for a uh, collection for my previous apartment, and I am actually looking out to get a new apartment within a month from now. I have actually tried to knock off some other bad, um, some other um, issues on my credit report, watching you guys' videos, which is good. Thanks, um, thanks to you guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I need this one to get off as soon as possible, so that's why I was trying to reach out to you guys. I know you guys are good, and I believe in you guys work. Okay, so that you text. So you, I appreciate you for watching the videos. Appreciate for the support. Have you? You said you text the word collection to the phone number I, or the number or this yeah, number. I, did. I I sent the I sent the collection word to. Uh, let me read the phone number that I sent to. Uh, was the I think the other number, not this one you guys have on live now. It's the other number. Yeah. Um. Maybe something happened. Um, no, nah, um, we're trying to figure out how to qualify the people because we getting like 
we got like a thousand or two thousand texts. <laughs> so we had to. Did uh, did he get a text message back said um saying that what to do to turn in to email his ACRs? Did you get like a email or text message back from the team? Yeah, I, I, I got a I got a text message and I got an email. So what what, what happened is uh, with the text message it was it's the one that says four zero seven eight six three three zero two four, and somebody responded saying, "Hey, Ibrahim, thanks for providing your details. We have got your I've got you on our list. Our team will be in touch soon to assist you for the, the credit team." But since then, I haven't gotten a, a call and. You know nowadays, just so okay. scam calls. I don't know if I miss if I miss you guys call, and I, I send another message again, and I didn't get a response. And I also realized that uh, Dave sent me a couple emails just to remind that about the live that come come on every Thursday. Okay, and I even got this one today, but I haven't gotten a response. Like I said, I'm out of um, every other issue that I have with my credit report, but I was able to delete a lot of um 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 um, um inquiries to you guys help and uh, some other accounts. Mm -hmm. uh, collection. I have just I just have this one that I need to get uh rid of as soon as possible within okay. from now. I'm not I'm not saying you guys should be able to knock it up uh with no hassle, but I believe uh you should be able to help me do this one. Okay. And I don't care to do what I have to do to do it. Uh the timeline though. Tell them about the timeline though, Dave. Yeah, so the top well, the timeline with this process is going to be a little bit different versus, I think, what you really want. Because the process that um, when we tell you to when we tell you to text the word collection is we hand this off to, well, we do some stuff to set the debt collectors up. And then once we set the debt collectors off, we hand and they, we get violations. We take um, the violations, uh, we put it all together and submit it to the lawyer and the lawyer will then take over the case. So he can sue these um, collection agencies, but also not only sue them, I think his overall goal is to get you money, but also remove the debt completely so you don't have to pay it. So it's going to be um, I a happens. six. I think, I think if I add this to what I said earlier on, sorry that I caught you, I don't want to lose my thought. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? Um, uh, when I first sent a letter to the debt, collect, debt collector and it came off my Equifax, yeah. So it's just to honor my uh, experience in TransUnion. So I sent a second letter um, just probably like 10 days or less ago. So why are we waiting for them to get back to me? Because I gave them 10 days ultimatum to respond and get it deleted from my query report so on uh, TransUnion and uh, um, experience. So I was just I, I was just about to send a, a CFPB complaint tonight because I, I watched one of you guys' videos last week okay. about making complaints on CFPB on collections and other things. So I was just about to do when the live came on, and okay. I was like, okay, let me wait for live to yes. so, so you sent the letter in. So like, wait, um, you sent the letter in ten days ago. Depending on when they received it, just wait thirty days before you file a complaint because what. What I don't want to happen is they take more time um, because I know that you really want this account off. All right. So just wait 30 days uh, for them to respond back to you. Then file your complaint. Next. Yeah, he, the first day that they, they didn't even respond. I, I just realized it came off my, um, when I just did the, the debt um, on three um, credit reporting agency, it came off the Equifax. Mm -hmm. It's still, still on transfer and and and, and uh, experience. Experience. Yes. So I sent a second letter to the uh, the debt collection company. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, sometimes last week or uh, at the end of week before last. So I'm sure it's probably working up to ten days because I get I like like I said there was a second notice. So I try to use those strong words like um, make sure you get this thing off my. If you can't pull the debt, get this thing off my credit report uh, within ten days from now, or I'll take legal action. Hey Dave, can I just tell him what to do? I mean, he's, yeah, he's, go ahead. hey, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. It, whether you hear me or not, just watch it back because this is gonna be specific for you and your situation. It's a collection, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to write the words "I refuse to pay this debt." Right? I want you to handwrite this letter. Okay. Can you hear him? Wait, you're talking about filing this complaint to the state. No, no, no. You're going to write a handwritten letter saying, I refuse to pay this debt to the collection agency, agency. to the actual collection agency, uh, not I'm the credit bureaus. Yeah, and I want you to put the name. Yeah, I, think, I, I, think, I think I included uh, that line within the letter that I sent. 
I, it was a good credit bureau. All right, yeah, so you want to send this, all right, you send that to the credit bureaus, but you want to send this directly to the creditor. No, 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 the, the, all the letters that I sent, this, 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 hey, Dave, you got to slow him down because he. Hold on, hold on, you said, hold on, hold on. You said the, all the letters that you sent. Go ahead. No, I Dave. Sent letters, I sent them to the, um, the collection agency, not the credit bureaus. I haven't said anything about that. Uh, okay. I sent them to the credit bureaus. Yeah, don't, don't worry about none of that. All, all that stuff, like this is going to be a okay. whole process. Don't worry about nothing you already did, okay? So yeah. I want you to send, I refuse to pay this debt to the collection agency. Now I want you to have the same format you sent it before. Uh, with the creditor's name, the debt collector's name, um, and the account number and the amount of the debt and say, I refuse to pay this debt. And I want you to send it certified. And I want you to, before you put everything, I want you to take a picture of the certified green receipt, both of them. And I want you to take a picture of the letter and I want you to have everything before you even put it in the envelope. Like take a picture of everything. And then once you send it, send it certified mail and they're going to give you tracking. Now, I had a collection with... Um, T-Mobile. I had T-Mobile when I first joined the Navy, like in 2013. I sent the letter. They sent the letter back and removed every removed the account from my credit report. Like no lie, I'm not saying that this is going to happen for you. But if they respond to you, then you will have a case that can go faster than, um, faster than what we're going to do for you. Okay, because you're doing it yourself. Okay, so what if they don't respond? What if they don't respond? Oh no, they. <laughs> they, oh, they go, oh, nah, I, I don't know if <laughs> what if. Hey, by law they're supposed to respond, right? So if they got it on your credit report, it's supposed to be an FCRA. If they don't respond, you can sue them. All right, you're gonna go to the courthouse. You're gonna pay what four hundred two dollars, Dave. Mm -hmm. Four hundred two dollars. Serve them, and then um, they're gonna reach back out, and they're gonna be upset, but they they're gonna pay you, and they're gonna say. All right, let's just go ahead and let bygones be bygones. And then you can get like 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, or whatever, because it's a clear violation. All right? This ain't legal advice. So don't do anything with CFPB, right? No, don't do nothing right with CFPB. No. Uh, let's go straight for the juggler. Um, if you want it off, yeah, I refuse to pay this debt is your best bet. Um, we sell the plenty of cases like that. Um, especially if you, don't, if you don't want like a lot of money or nothing, and you just want it gone, and it's in collection status. That's the key, though. It got to be in collection status. Oh, man. Y'all about to be blowing, my, blowing the line up. Okay. What? All right. Uh, but uh, I'll also have to look to get a conversation um, out of this live with you guys. I don't know if y'all can schedule that for any any day. Hmm? What was the question? I say I'll, I'll actually love to talk to you guys. Um, Beyond this uh, live, uh, any day, uh, make a schedule. Uh, Jack can send me a message okay. or email. You can be an email today, so uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, just send a uh, message to Dave Talks Credit, uh, Instagram, or you can email email the team. Okay, what do you want me to email? Same, so you remember that. Too, so this is me. I need to. <laughs> Hold on, that's that's his number right there, right? Okay, I got your number. So screenshot, screenshot that real quick, Dave. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah just put your name and number. I got your number. I I I'll put it in the uh in the leadership group. All right. All right, hold on. All right, sir. Um, I got your information. So it was nice talking to you. I appreciate you putting in the work. And make sure you send off that letter certified. I will. I all right. I, I did all uh, what letters that I sent before. I did. I tracked them and I and I was able to get them written uh, off. Okay. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Man, you guys You're looking welcome. good. Y'all doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like to get on the phone with him. He already doing the work, so he just need a little tweaking about what he doing. Uh. All right. Whew. So let's knock out some more questions. Oh man, I'm I'm lost now with the questions. They don't drop too many questions. Hey man, we, we video. Got, what's up, Wall Street? We had a commercial, bro. I, I still can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, like y'all. Yeah, we can do something for y'all. Okay. What's up? Um, what's up, millionaire? Um, mm -hmm. what to do after you ask? Let me see. I got one. Okay, hold on. I got I got to unstart the questions because I didn't unstart. Them. What to do after you ask? How did they research the response? So. What do you do after that? Um, 
file a complaint, millionaire. Um, yeah. Did they respond back to you within 15 days or did they even do anything? Oops, Ryan. Oops. Got to call back in. Let me know in the chat. And how do you block the, how do you block FFC from looking at your credit report? Who is FSC? I don't know who that is. I'm about to say uh, FSU, but <laughs> who is F? Who is FSC? FSO? I don't even know who. Who are those people? Echo Facts and others. Um, if you want to block people from looking at, you can respond to that, Mike. Uh, oh yeah, just, just freeze your credit reports. Um, do they already have uh, I, so many questions I got to ask? <laughs> so if they already have access to your credit reports, I don't think you can block them. But if you want to block somebody from looking at your reports, you just freeze your uh, freeze your credit profile. So just download the Experian app, uh, TransUnion and Equifax app, and then just press the uh, freeze button and then nobody will be able to look at your credit. Um, but I don't understand why you would want to block somebody from looking at your credit. I really appreciate what you all uh, do for us here on the YouTube world. We we so appreciate it. Yeah, we are here. Hey, we appreciate you. You got something to drink, I heard. Yes, I got all you. Right. I should be drinking water, but I'm drinking tea. <laughs> all right. I'm drinking sweet tea too. Mike always tell me I'm tripping. I drink the water, man. <laughs> you ice cold water. So how can I, how can we help you? Yeah, Mike, I'm terrible with, uh, with water too. But, uh, yes, um, my name is Eve. I'm calling in from South Carolina. I got y'all booked, and I'll, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. So I am um, working on getting off a repossession from Capital One. Mm -hmm. However, the repossession comes up as um, it comes up as a repossession on my Equifax, but mm -hmm. on my other reports, it comes up as paid off. 100%. It's a paid charge off. Okay. So, yeah. I'm seeing if I need to remove, should I remove that off my uh, credit profile or should I just keep it there because it's a paid off loan, but it's still showing up as a repossession? Oh, no. You need to remove that because yeah. it's still in uh, bad status. Yeah, the, stat the status going to stop you from getting what you want. So, you should remove uh, it. You know it's paid off. Okay. Yeah. You should vote. Yeah. Yeah, one, one status say repo and the other two say collection. So when somebody look at it, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, oh. it's not off. It's uh, paid off, charge off. Even charge though off. it's paid off and it's charge like charge off. Good that it's paid off. However, the score is well. That account is hurting your credit score. So since that account is hurting your credit score, you're not gonna get the best interest rate. Even though it's paid off, they see that, but it's still hurting you from getting um, qualified for a better interest rate. So you want right, to okay. you want to you want to actually remove that account off your credit report, and you're gonna your credit. Depending on what else is on your credit report, it should skyrocket. Um, if you don't have nothing else that's hurting you, so you should focus yeah, on removing that as well. Yeah, so fix that. Yeah. You'll be good as well once you get it off. Definitely. Definitely, and, and also, too, I have another question, because they did this um, during the pandemic. I didn't think that was, like, legal, a legal thing to do, too, so I don't What's know. What's that? Like, I got, they hit me with a repossession in, like, 2021. They hit you with a repossession in 2021. Um... I haven't read the I haven't read the the rights of whenever they came out with the Patriots. I think it's a Patriots. Some act they came out with. So I haven't read it. I'm gonna do some research on it. And it was the like I, said, um, I don't know. Um so I don't want to give you the, the wrong advice. But if you haven't been making payments, they also have rights. So I don't know what was in that act versus what you signed. So you know, Capital One gets away with a lot of stuff. So <laughs> no, they don't care. But yeah, they, 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 they don't they don't care. So um but uh let me do some research on the um Patriots. I think it's the, it's the, it's the, it's the CARES Act, but oh, it was CARES Act. let me do the uh on the CARES Act and then um I can make a whole video on it so you can understand. 
Mm-hmm. Nah, it was only for late payments, though. It was only for late payments. Mm-hmm. It it um it stopped people from getting the late payments and mm-hmm. so catch up. Um, they the same thing they did with the houses, but okay. you have to, you have to you have to um you have to ask the yeah ask. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all so much. And one last thing too. Can y'all please let me all let me into y'all Facebook group? Cause I'm still pending. Yeah, we don't <laughs> oh, we don't use the Facebook group. That's why we haven't let you wear it. <laughs> yeah, we stopped using it a while ago. Yeah, that's yeah, we had stopped using it. So that's the reason why. Um but we coming up with something else so we can have a um community. That's why. Hold on. I think the team still I'm have access. I'm waiting on y'all. I'm, okay. I'm waiting. All right. I'm waiting to invest. I can't wait for y'all to come out with your membership. So thank y'all for your answering my question. You're welcome. Thank you for all uh, calling in. I'm gonna see what what her name is on Facebook. Hold on. Mm-hmm. What was your name on Facebook? It's Ivana Copius. I know I put a weird name because people don't follow me, but it's Ivana Copius. <laughs> Call me Wallet. Hey, uh, at, well, I don't you, know. you you got me as a friend on Facebook. I'm following you. I'm following Dave. I can't find Mike. I'm looking through the Facebook. I haven't been on Facebook in a while because I'm pretty much you know studying and trying to work on my business stuff. So. Um, hit me up on Instagram so I can find you on so I can find your Facebook profile. Let me drop Instagram real quick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. And also, just so y'all know, my name is Cole Siren on here too. So if, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you know. Don't give out all your socials on on our social because they <laughs> follow you for real. <laughs> they gonna follow you get some business. Appreciate you following. Appreciate Absolutely. you uh watching the videos. Thank you for getting the book. And, and make sure absolutely yeah follow them steps for that uh that negative account all right definitely definitely i appreciate y'all thank y'all god you bless god bless have a good one have a good weekend i'm gonna see can i be added back to the group? Thank you. what'd you say the credit champions group which group um damn what they calling back to back what group we got we got new jersey in the house and dave how many groups you got like two. IG. Oh, the IG down here, y'all. All right. Hey, thank y'all so much. <clears throat> you learned so much. Hey, that's what's up. We're gonna uh take over the industry, take over the game, teach everybody. All right. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. It's definitely most appreciated. All right, let me hey, see. No, are you are in the bed. All right. Yes, I'm lying on a bed. Uh, this Miss Williams. How you doing, Miss Williams? First of all, shalom to you guys. How are you guys? I'm doing good. Oh. Taking my call. No problem. Can, can you guys please tell me how much you guys charge for like a small consultation or whatever you guys do? Mm-hmm. Oh, you, uh, you want a consultation? So no. we, yes, we, um. I'm I'm a digger. I'm I'm, I'm a reader. I research. Okay. I, I've been waiting to speak with someone and figure out like who's not shaming or anything like that. <laughs> and you guys are in the top three people. The other two people, I know I could trust them. It's just that right now yep. with the way my funds are going. Because I've been trying to start my own business, mm-hmm. and so I'm paying for all of that. I just, you know, me being a domestic violence survivor, I I can't right now. I understand. Um, to do a uh, consultation, just hit me up on my and Instagram. Find you... the money. If... No, 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 no. I I don't. I don't. Uh, Dave got a big heart. <laughs> That's I, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, don't, I, I, I charge, but I don't. You know, I don't need right now. So, just if you can. You know what? All right, I got your phone number. Let me screenshot this. I'm gonna text you, and then we can schedule a okay. call so I can tell you what to do next. Um, if you're a little bit confused, um, and from there, you should be good to go. She yeah. says she don't know who the scammers are. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we gotta get rid of that. We gotta get rid of the scammers. Yeah, because I'm willing to write. I'm gonna send it certified mail. I'm the type of person that. Not only certified, but mm-hmm. I want a signature return the whole shebang. Oh yeah, you about that life. That's what I'm Take talking pictures, about. Pictures, 
I'm very thorough with notes and everything. After I worked for three attorneys previously in my past, in mm-hmm. my early 20s, um, um, yeah, hospital, um, um, yeah, they don't like me. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Um, so, um, so I want the, your name. I want the time that you walk in my room. The time I talk to you <laughs> on the phone. I write all of that down. Okay. So, so um, I um I screenshotted your phone number and um I'll okay. I'll have my team text you so we can schedule a call to see what okay. time works best for you. Okay. So how soon will you do that? Uh, tomorrow. My team will reach out to you tomorrow. Okay. Um. So she'll she'll I text you. Um. She'll, she'll, twelve noon. I appreciate it. You said at the twelve noon. At the twelve noon. You said they want. Yes. Please. What uh? What coast? What what's uh? Where you, oh, you on I'm the east side? Eastern Standard Time. Yes, I'm Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'll have somebody reach out to you after 12 on Eastern Standard Time. Let me write that down, too, if I get cursed out. Hey, Mike, I got a notebook and everything. Yes, Keep sir. myself on track. Hey, uh, Jesse said a 14-day hack go crazy. Hold on. Oh, yeah. All right. You should see one room. It looked like a half of a school. I kid you not. Oof. What was your name? Miss Tawana Williams. Miss Williams. Okay. Miss Tawana Williams. Okay, I got your name, got your num- uh number, and um I'll have s- somebody reach out to you so we can um get on a call. Um and I appreciate you for um you know coming on here, calling in and everything. I appreciate you guys very much. All right. And shalom to you and your family. Shalom to you too. Hey, that's love. Yeah. You're welcome. Somebody said, what? What's what the 14-day? I'm surprised that a lot of people don't know the 14 day. That's good. You don't know the 14-day hack? That's that's good. <laughs> that's like, uh, do something first. <laughs> uh, that's the uh, the viral video. <laughs> that, thing, that thing was so viral that people started making the same video. <laughs> like it was crazy, and then uh, everybody started blowing off. Like that's what uh, really made us like realize how powerful YouTube was and how um, powerful you are too. Yeah, and it's, yeah, because a lot of people would get results off that thing. That just was crazy. It's you know, it works. It just it's just like the law. Like like nothing can you know like the laws work. So uh, Jesse said. Said, I need to get with you ASAP. How can I contact you? Hey, by the way. Uh, hmm. We can. We, can, uh, we need to do like a uh, master class. We can, we can work something out. Um, follow us on Instagram, and for a testimonial of what happened on the fourteen day hack, we'll have a conversation with you. Um, just just so y'all know, man. Um, the price to get us on the phone for thirty minutes. What was it? What we put it at? Five thousand? We put like a thousand or something. Cause <laughs> we put was... we put it high because people were we had it at a hundred dollars before, but people kept calling us so much like we couldn't do nothing else but get on phone calls. So we started pushing it up, pushing it up, and then we did uh what five hundred dollars for fifteen minutes, mm-hmm. and then like this one guy, this one guy, y'all, I, I kid y'all not, he booked like four calls in a row. Although he did get his bankruptcy removed and some collections from his his girl and uh funding for his trucking company i didn't think nobody was gonna pay 500 dollars for 15 minutes but that goes to show like when people got something going on they'll spend the money they just need they just need um uh, guidance i was like man was like, phone calls forever i was like oh no i can't do this <laughs> yeah so we, we price up because the game is all on youtube for real for real yep. um the only thing like if y'all talk to us we'll give you like more strategy I got a child support move. Uh-oh. Whew, let me let me go. Oh, off the 14 day hack? <laughs> yeah, that thing. Sheesh. 
Oh, the, hey, the emojis don't show up on here. That's just said orange. It said face orange, biting nails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your that's your video. Oh, yours. Yeah, your I think that's when. That's your oh. video. The face orange, biting nails. When you did, I got orange and black. But I think you were talking about how to remove a. I think it was something with collections. How to wipe everything off with your collection, or something like that. I'll support. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Definitely that testimony. You remove late payments from your student loans. Shay money. Remove the account. Forget the uh, late payments. Yeah, I removed the account. Mm-hmm. Late, payments, late payments are the hardest thing to remove because you got to talk to the credit bureaus about the people that you was late with. And yeah. they're not going to buzz. They're like, yeah, she was late. <laughs> Verified. Yeah, he or she was late. Verified. And then you got to talk about... Uh, you know how you probably wasn't laid, and then they're probably gonna ask for documentation. If you don't got it, then you know it's hard to do. But if it's inaccurate on your credit report, you can just remove the whole account. All right, y'all. I have to go. Oh, that's it. All right, man. Unless you want to stay on for a little bit. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Nah. All right, all hey. right. So, um. I'm gonna schedule this a little bit earlier because um I'm realizing you know because I had to take my pick up my daughter to get in the dark so I'm gonna schedule this a little bit earlier um so we can have more time and answer more questions. Oh yeah. Um, have you started? Oh, you know, it's an AI question. So I, I don't use AI besides Dispute Panda. That's the only AI software that I use um to fix credit, unless we're talking about Chat GPT now. We. I'm making a video about that as well. How do you chat GPT the right that way? Was, uh, one person asked that question before. I was gonna shoot it down because I'm like, let me use chat GPT, but we you can use it to help you. Um yeah, this one. Oh, all right, bro. You gotta go. Hey, follow us on Instagram and uh DM us if y'all got our book. Uh thank y'all. We really appreciate it. We number one in two different categories. We're trying to be number one bestseller, so so I can tell my mom I'm a bestseller. <laughs> uh, probably get on a Steve Harvey show or something. But other than that, hey, y'all, peace and stay safe in these credit streets. Yes, sir.